Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, let us take a look into at value annotation. Well, Spring provides at value annotation to assign a default values to variables and method arguments. Well, at value annotation is mostly used to get a value for a specific property key from the properties file. We can read Spring environment variables as well as system variables using at value annotation. Next, let me demonstrate all these points with an example. So let's go to project in IntelliJ idea and let's quickly create a new package let's call it as value within a value package let's quickly create a java class let's give name as value annotation demo all right let's annotate this class with add component annotation so that spring container can create a spring bean for this class automatically within this class let's create a variable let's say private string and let's give name as default name so this is the instance variable let's annotate this variable with add value annotation and let's provide a default value so let's give default value name something like default default name all right next let's create a getter method for this instance variable so here just right click and then generate and then getter select the field click on ok now we have created default name field and we have annotated this field with at value annotation and we have passed the default value so in order to test this let's get the value annotation demo spring bean from the application context and then we'll call this get default name method so let's go to main entry point class and go to main method within the main method here Let's retrieve value annotation demo spring bean from the application context. So here context dot get bean method and then pass value annotation demo class type. Perfect. And here let's put the system dot out print element statement and then call value annotation demo object. It has get default name method and this get default name method returns default name and we have assigned some value to this default name field right so this value should be printed in a console next let's go back to main entry point class from here let's run the program and notice here the default name is printed so this default name value we have assigned to this default name field right so this is what printed in a console all right so this is how we can use add value annotation to assign a default value to a variable next let us see how to use at value annotation to get a value for a particular property key from the application dot properties file so here go to resources folder here we have application dot properties file well by default spring boot will read this application dot properties file we don't have to write a code to read this file okay next within this application dot properties file let's configure few key value pair and let's see how to use add value annotation to retrieve a value for a particular key so here let's say message or else let's say mail dot host equal to gmail.com and let's say mail dot email equal to java guides at the rate gmail.com something like that and then mail dot password secret okay now let's see how to use add value annotation to get a values for these keys so let's go to value annotation demo class here let's create an instance variables private string and then host let's annotate this field with at value annotation and here is syntax to get a value for a property key within a double quote dollar within a curly braces we need to pass the property key for example if you go to application dot properties file this is the key this is the value so in order to get this value we have to pass this key to the at value annotation so let's copy this key go back to value annotation demo class go to this field and just paste this key okay next let's create a one more 
instance variable and let's give name as email and let's annotate this field with at value annotation and here is syntax within a double quote within a curly braces just pass the property key so go to application dot property file copy this key and paste it over here similarly let's create a one more instance variable let's give name as password let's annotate this field with at value annotation and here is syntax within a double quote dollar within a curly braces we need to pass the key so go to application dot properties file copy this key and paste it over here and here you can see we have a typo so here we need to provide a dollar all right perfect next let us create a getter methods for these three instance variables so that we can get the value for these three instance variable and we can print to the console so here just right click and then generate getter and select these fields and click on ok all right perfect next let us test this change so let's go to main entry point class go to main method and here we have already retrieved value annotation demo spring bean from the application context so here let's put the system dot print element and then value annotation demo object it has get host method next let's put one more sys out and then value annotation demo object get email and then one more sys out value annotation demo dot get password perfect next let us run this application and there we go you can able to see host gmail.com and then this is the email and this is the password all right so this is how we can use add value annotation to read a value for a property keys from the application dot properties file well in real time project we use add value annotation a lot to get a value for a property key from the properties file next let us see how to use add value annotation to read the environment variables and system variables well by default spring boot will load the environment variables and system variables okay next let us see how to use add value annotation to get a value for a specific environment variable or a system variable so here let me create an instance variable private string and let's give name as java home all right let's annotate this field with add value annotation and here is the syntax within a double quote dollar within a curly braces java dot home all right so this key will provide a value as a complete java home path okay next here let's create a one more instance variable private string and then let's say home directory next let's annotate this field with add value annotation next here is the syntax within a double quote dollar within a curly braces just pass the key as a home so this will give the current home directory and this will give the system variable for a java home okay next let's create a getter method for these two variables over here so just right click choose generate and then choose getter select these two fields click on okay next go to main department class go to main method and here let's put one more system dot print element statement and then pass value annotation demo object and then call get java home and let's put one more system dot print element statement and then print the current home directory perfect next let us run this program and there we go you can able to see in output the java home path is printed and also the home directory path is also printed so this is how we can use add value annotation to get a value for environment variables as well as system variables all right so this is all about add value annotation and in real time project most of the time we use add value annotation to get a value for a property key from the you know properties file all right great i will see you in the next video 